Well, hey there, fabulous photographers. I got a really great question from Shelly today about what she should use to edit her videos for her brand new IGTV channel. So we are gonna jump in with a quick tutorial on how to use iMovie to edit your videos for IGTV or for anywhere, but specifically for IGTV. We also have tutorials on apps you can use on your phone and some other programs we're gonna be working on as well, but I wanted to show you how it is that I am doing this in my brand by using iMovie. So let's jump in. Uh, as you can see, I kind of have stuff already done. This is one I did earlier today, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing. So I filmed my clips in vertical format. That means up and down. And I have popped them in here. And you're going to actually want to turn this sideways. So you're going to go up to that little crop button and you are going to turn it either to the left or to the right. I flip it to the right so that it's all in the same format, but you just have to make sure it's all flipped the same way. Once you have it sideways, it's going to fill up the entire space. You're not going to have those black bars on the side because we do not like all that black space here on the side because that's going to show up in your video and it's going to make it small on IGTV. So we're going to turn it so that it fills the entire space. And then at that point, you're going to edit your clips together however you want to flip them together. And something I do is I leave them vertical and then I edit it together. Then I flip it all and then I put my overlays on. So as you can see, this is just a clip of me talking, but I put my overlay on it sideways. So I personally have actually screenshot the image from corner to corner and then I pop that into Photoshop and I create my overlays, whatever my overlay is going to be, I create that sideways and then I drag it in as a PNG and put it right over top of my clip. So you literally just take the PNG and you drop it over top of the clip. Once it's on there, it's actually probably going to show up as a cutaway. So it would just be black like this and you're going to move down to picture in picture and then you're going to drag the corners to each other. Now, unlike Photoshop, you don't need to hold the shift button down. It's automatically going to retain its dimensions. If you do want to change dimensions, then you hold the shift button down. So you're going to put it in there and you may need to go to the top corner and kind of adjust the fade. So you actually probably don't want it to fade in for most of this. So you're going to stretch it to the outside so that it's just automatically there. And then you are going to change it when your clip changes. So you're just going to add that in however you need to do that. You are definitely going to want to put on some kind of overlays to make it a little more professional, a little more curated, and you're going to add in whatever it is that you need to do there. Now, if you're using music, this is a great place to add that in. Make sure you have the license for that. Uh, make sure you've licensed it from one of the really great places that licenses music or you create it yourself. But be aware that Facebook owns Instagram. And Facebook is hardcore on making sure that you have legal music. And sometimes they'll take it down videos, even if you've licensed it. Sometimes they will take it down, especially in live videos. Don't use music in live videos, guys. It's a bad idea. Um, but you just want to take that into consideration because eventually Instagram will probably be doing the same things that Facebook is doing. And so you just want to be aware that music might trip you up a little bit later on down the road. It's a fun thing to deal with, but... If you plan ahead now, you won't have to deal with it later. So put your overlays in, go ahead and get everything all organized the way you want it, flip it to the side, and then you're going to go up to the top, which I actually cut off. Sorry, guys, there's an export button up here at the top. You're going to click that, and it is going to export your video. Then I'm going to show you what you do once it's exported, because right now it's sideways, and you actually have to get it upright again. So once you have it done, and it is ready to go. You're going to open up your video. There we go. And you are going to go up to, to your QuickTime player and you're going to go to edit. And I definitely cut that off. Sorry guys. So you're going to go to QuickTime and then down to edit and you're going to rotate it whichever way you need to rotate it. And it, ta-da, flips your video. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit so you guys can see. And I, as you can see, it's unnamed at this point. So you're going to X out of it. And when you do, it's going to ask you to save it. You're going to save it with your name and you're going to click that save button. Once you have it saved, it's going to save it as a dot move. Instagram TV does not accept dot move. So once you're done, just go over to your files and all you're going to do is click on that dot move and you are going to change it to a dot MP4. That's a uh, file I already saved there. We're going to change it to dot MP4. It's going to ask you if you want to save it as an MP4. You're going to say yes. 
and then you're good to go. You can go over to Instagram.com, go to your profile, go to that center icon for IGTV, and upload from there. If you don't know how to do that, I have a tutorial on it. Put it out for Tutorial Tuesday last week, so you can check that out in my YouTube channel or on my social media platforms. You can see exactly how you are going to be able to do that. So it's super easy. I highly recommend using iMovie to create your videos. There's a lot that you can do in there. And, of course, you've got things like... Um, filters that you can use so you can do things in black and white and you know all these different options that you have available to you you can do things like changing your color sorry you're gonna do things like changing up your coloring and uh, maybe you want to channel you know, that's weird yep sometimes things are weird guys there's like white balance and all of that loveliness um, so you can there's a lot you can do here I do and I'm gonna give you one more pro tip here if you have kind of background noise in your video you're actually going to go to uh, these little bars here and you're going to click reduce background noise and you're going to zip that up to 100 to leave it flat and then just check it and see if it has that weird kind of hum in the background just mess with it until it works it's a great thing highly recommend iMovie check it out see if you have that available to you and there's lots of other programs you can use if you are not mac based because iMovie obviously is going to be a mac based thing um but use the program that you have available to you we do have tutorials on apps for your phone we've got some other programs we're going to be working on so over the next few days you will be seeing more of these if you have questions about igtv go ahead and hit me up in those comments we're making lots and lots of tutorials and live trainings on how to use instagram television for you as a photographer to enhance your brand and communicate with your people so come hang out with me lots and lots on igtv and all the other social media platforms as well I'm K.M. Robinson, social media marketing strategist and professional photographer here at K.M. Robinson Photography. I would love for you guys to come join me over at kmrobinsonphotography.com where we have webinars and trainings and tutorials and events and different one-on-one -on -one situations and Q&As and all sorts of things to build up your photography brand through your social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, Periscope, blogs, newsletters, your websites, all of those fabulous things that you need to reach your clients and potential new clients and get them ready for their photo shoots with Y-O-U. So coming out, kmrobinsonphotography.com. I will see you over there. And until then, stay inspired. Bye-bye.